Hello everyone, Susie Gaming here, and welcome back to Hell Let Loose. Today we're gonna reveal Satchel. So it's been added in update 8 to the engineer's level 3 loadout. It has 30 meters of effective radius. Doesn't matter if you're behind uh -oh. terrain or building cover, your character will be dead. And also single satchel can destroy any enemy fortifications without a problem. The most funniest way to use the satchel is sneaking up behind enemy lines, getting inside objective, then placing it somewhere in the middle. But it's really hard because you're gonna have to pass through infantry without actually let them know you're there next to them. So avoiding enemies will require some sort of a skill and terrain knowledge. That means you just cannot uh, stand up and run there in the middle of objective. You need to know certain paths then as soon as you're inside the objective where usually enemy team is piled up you're put in the satchel to the 30 seconds which is a minimum fuse time you can set between 30 60 and 120 seconds and yeah just run away but you can also go head to head and place the satchel but then you're gonna have a chance of killing teammates and oh lord they're not listening no matter how many times i've warned 60 percent of the time teammates go straight to the satchel without even listening guys uh, satchel is placed get back there is a satchel there you you're all gonna die there is a satchel you're all gonna die back off back off you're all gonna die The icon of the satchel is so tiny, even I don't see it. If devs can increase it and change the color of it, probably people will notice it and actually run away from it. <laughs> I died to your satchel. I died to your satchel, Fred. Yep. Satchel got you through the building. It's so powerful. Now, if you're an engineer in the US team, with the satchel, you will get a main weapon, grease gun. And I'll tell you that, I absolutely hate it. Yes, you can still kill someone with it, but iron side of it, it's terrible. When you aim with the iron side, you can actually struggle to see enemies. It's like, that circle is so small, you're basically aiming through the hole. Like, if you know the Scar L iron side, that's how it feels like. And not even talking about slow rate of fire, this gun is a meh. I guess much more accurate than the Thompson if you tap fire but other than that uh, i kind of don't like it now with the satchel going behind them is much more safer for the teammates and could be a bit more effective we also tested that enemy can defuse your satchel as well so as soon as you place it it will produce a spark animation everyone can easily spot it so you also need to be careful where you're placing it so the maximum kill i've got was eight kills that means whole squad and extra two players and i admit it's funny but unfortunately you cannot see the destruction you caused you cannot see the body parts because unfortunately there is no replay system you cannot go back and see all of those uh, players you blew up uh, which is kind of sad there's no kill kill the only way to learn what's the destruction you caused is just tabbing uh, and yeah looking at your statistic and calculating how many players you killed which is kind of boring yeah in this video i wish i could have shown you all of those body parts flying away when i killed those eight players but yeah unfortunately in this game it's not possible by the way devs please add it to do list add a replay option to this game it will be awesome you need to stay 30 meters away by the way how you know how many people you kill with the satchel after you're placing it get in cover press tap view personal stats uh, you will see the kill amount then after the satchel explodes look at that again and just calculate the amount of players you killed what's good about satchel it can also destroy garrisons and outposts in 30 meters of radius for example let's say garrison is behind the building somehow you missed it if you place the satchel sometimes you'll randomly destroy outposts and garrisons without even know where they are Probably the biggest change with this update, you cannot destroy garrisons with grenade no more. You can destroy outposts with grenade from now on. With satchel, you can destroy both of them. But yeah, here is some satchel gameplay in Hell at Loose. Enjoy. Now here's what's cool about the satchels. When you see vehicle, you can even place it under the truck, just like this. So 
So not just sides and top. Basically anywhere. And it's gone. Got him. Is that it? You can hide it like this, like half of it. Put a tire. Hide inside of this. Let's get in the building. Or you can pl <laughs> place it here. On the sticks. Let's see if we can place it on the three. Yes, we can. Nice. Now we're going to check inside the building. So if it show up as green, that means you can place it there. Like, the freedom of placement is awesome. I really love it. Can I do it like this? Even an angled surface, you can still place it. Even if you place the satchel outside and, for example, enemy in this house, he will still die. I don't know how, but the explosion pierces through the building and kills everyone inside of it. Checks out. Oh. And there is the time that is required to defuse it. Here we go. So now we're gonna test if this bunker will cover the splash. I'm gonna place it. And go behind this bunker like this. Okay. So even though I was in extreme cover, somehow I still died. Now let's try to use the terrain as cover and see if we can survive. I'm gonna place the satchel here. I'm gonna hide behind the terrain. Just like this. Let's see if it's gonna stop it. Okay, so enemy can defuse satchels as well. That's sad. So you can, <laughs> you can place satchels on top of each other. That's ridiculous. First test with the Greyhound. Let's see. Okay, Greyhound got uh, single tapped. Ooh, Ooh. We died. We died. <laughs> it one tapped the Sherman. Now the Jumbo. It got single tapped as well. So only two vehicles in this game that cannot be destroyed by single satchel. Tiger and Panther. Rest is being single tapped. Good Ti job, man. Tiger is gone.
Oof. There was a big splash. Stay away from the church. Satchel in sight. Stay away from the church. Satchel in sight. Satchel in sight. Stay away from the church. He's behind the door. That guy is going to die. Yep. Oh shit. Guys just vaporized. Oh, this one survived. Interesting. And he's absolutely fine. Four kills. That satchel killed two of them. Bunker should be clear. I killed eight people with satchel. Enemy tank near me. Place the satchel, I place the satchel. Run away from that house. I place the satchel, 30 meters, run. Oh, five, five kills, five kills. Oh, no. And no team kill, I'm really surprised. Placed another one. With so many I will kill. I placed the satchel, watch out, stay here. Three kills and also three friendlies. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, oh. Did you kill someone? Me. Uh, four kills, one garrison, one outpost. Ooh. Place in the satchel. Okay, okay. Right now I have 8 kills. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, got the garrison and 4 kills. Not many, but still something. Found their notes here, gonna dismantle them. Oh, garrison as well. Do you have a plan? But yeah guys, that's it for today. And also if you already use the satchel, type in the comment section what's the maximum amount of kill you got. See you next time and peace out.